Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have some exciting Kansas City Chiefs news, so be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates by clicking that red button below. In our first story, Kansas City Chiefs defensive tackle Chris Jones is calling for the team to bring back veteran defensive end Frank Clark. Following an impressive 25-7 victory over the Cincinnati Bengals on New Year's Eve, Jones took to X, formerly Twitter, to express his sentiments. Bring Frank Clark back. I need my brother for this playoff run. Clark, 30, was recently released by the Seattle Seahawks after signing with them in late October 2023. During his brief tenure in Seattle, he made a minimal impact registering just six tackles across six games. Before that, he played two games for the Denver Broncos, where he also managed only two tackles. Back in April 2019, the Chiefs made a significant investment in Clark, trading away a first-round pick and two other selections to acquire him from the Seahawks. Over four seasons with Kansas City, Clark accumulated impressive stats. 263 tackles, 5-8.5 sacks, and 14 forced fumbles in the regular season. His playoff performances were particularly standout, amassing 40 QB pressures and becoming known for his clutch plays in postseason games. Despite a less impactful 2022 season, where he recorded the third lowest pressure total of his career, Clark delivered during crucial moments in the playoffs, solidifying his place as one of the all-time greats in postseason history with one 3.5 sacks. Financial considerations led to Clark's departure, as he carried a hefty $28.6 million cap hit in 2023. This move freed up $21 million in cap space, allowing the defending Super Bowl champions to enhance their roster. With $282 million currently available in salary cap space, the Chiefs could consider resigning Clark if he's willing to take a one-year deal. Given his playoff experience and history of performing in high-pressure situations, integrating him into an already robust defensive line could bolster their chances as they face tough opponents in the postseason. Moving on to our second story, the Kansas City Chiefs have created a remarkable legacy under head coach Andy Reid and MVP quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Drawing comparisons to the legendary New England Patriots era led by Tom Brady. After their recent win against the Bengals, the Chiefs have claimed the AFC West crown for an impressive eighth consecutive season, breaking the previous record held by the Rams from the 1970s. This victory not only solidified their division dominance, but also marked their ninth consecutive playoff appearance a feat only achieved by a select few teams in NFL history, including the Cowboys and those same Patriots. Furthermore, clinching their 10th win of the season continued their streak of achieving double-digit victories, a record that stands as one of the longest in the league alongside Peyton Manning's Colts. Interestingly, this season has been characterized by a different style of play. The current Chiefs offense ranks 9th in total yards and 12th in scoring, the lowest rankings since the start of their streak in 2016. Meanwhile, their defense, led by Steve Spagnuolo, is performing at a top three level in points and yards allowed. Despite encountering challenges like injuries and a shaky midseason stretch, this version of the Chiefs proved resilient showcasing their ability to maintain a seat at the playoff table. Finally, let's talk about wide receiver Marquez Valdez-Scantlin. Throughout the 2023 season, the Chiefs have shown faith in Valdez-Scantlin, despite his struggles on the field. Initially recognized for his deep threat capabilities and reliable blocking, he has become a liability this season. With only 20 catches for 312 yards and one touchdown, his performance has declined significantly, particularly in recent games where he's averaged just one catch per game. In Week 11, he dropped a potential go-ahead touchdown against the Eagles, adding to a concerning trend that fans are struggling to overlook. Valdez Scantling's inability to catch deep passes has raised eyebrows, 
especially when opportunities have been squandered in critical moments. His reaction to a reporter's question regarding his performance showed a lack of accountability, as he shifted blame instead of acknowledging his own shortcomings. Despite his diminished production, he continues to log significant playing